What's good y'all, Rudds here. Today's hardware review features the upcoming Turn and Shave M1 Knot. Turn and Shave is an artisan based out of Chicago, Illinois, and Milton, the owner, will be releasing 11 of his M1 Knots on October 8th, 2020 at 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, Milton has been working on this knot for two years. He learned the uh, craft of hand tying knots. He's taken his time with it and uh, really perfected it based on my use cases. Uh, this brush will come with a limited edition turn and shave box made by his father Mario, uh, signed by both of them. And it will also come with a care card, which includes details about the uh, knot itself, the handle, which is called the inception, as well as other details on how to uh, care for the knot. If you happen to miss out on the release on October 8th because of the uh, 11 brush limit, uh, he is offering a wait list for you to uh, get on. These knots will come in either 26 millimeter or 28 millimeter for the time being. And as of right now, Milton has no plans to hand tie knots for other handles. Everything will come in a uh, turn and shave handle. Each one will be signed by Milton as well. So M1 stands for batch one hair. Um, that's pretty common for U.S. Uh, artisans who hand tie knots to uh, number their batches so you know what you're getting. Uh, this is called the Inception Handle. This is the uh, handle style with which these brushes will come in. This will not be the uh, color though. You will use the uh, Galaxy Resin, which I will show you now. The Galaxy Resin um, is really beautiful in my opinion. Uh, as a tester of this knot, I just opted for a uh, matte white. The um, tips on this are ultra soft. As you can see, they clump hook extremely well. Uh, the knot is also extremely dense. I'm not sure if you can tell from this, but it's the densest knot I've come across to date. And that would include the uh, Declaration and Mozingo brushes. It's got a medium firm backbone, which I really like. If you've watched enough of my brush reviews, you'll know that uh, medium firm to firm is where I want to be with a uh, brush knot. So with all the uh, details about when it launches and the uh, specs about the uh, knot and brush out of the way, you'll probably wonder how this feels. Uh, this is an ultra luxury feeling brush that you'd expect to uh, feel from a, a knot that's hand tied by a U.S. artisan who's practiced for two years. Um, super soft jelly tips. Um, not slimy though. I've, I've seen some of the uh, recent banter about too jelly, if you will. And uh, this is not the case with this knot. As you can see, it has tremendous flow through. It's not hanging on to uh, the lather. It's got great water retention, so make sure you shake it out properly or load more soap. The uh, density and backbone are right in my sweet spot for uh, use. I enjoy the uh, pillowy feel, but the uh, stiffness behind it, if you will. Really like the Inception handle. I have fairly big hands and I can really hang on to this without uh, feeling like it's too small in my hand or too big. I think it's uh, quite ergonomic if you're into that. This brush works well uh, as a scrubbing brush, swirling brush and also as a uh, painter, as you complete your uh, face lather. It's got great splay and uh, coverage area. This happens to be the 28 millimeter version. 
and uh, I can easily lather my face in my dome without having to uh, go back to the puck and it really makes quick work of creating a nice lather. I'd like to uh, first thank Milton for uh, allowing me the opportunity to uh, try this snot and provide a review for you all uh, and also congratulate Milton on taking the uh, time to learn how to really hand tie knots before uh, rushing to market. Wishing you the uh, most of success this coming Thursday, October 8th with your uh, release of the Turn and Shave M1 knots in the Inception handle with Galaxy Resin Pour. Hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, perhaps you'll have the opportunity to uh, pick one of these up. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.